Hey folks, I'm going to show you some of the extra skills that you can use as you are creating your hamburger project. So the first one I'm going to show you involves using a marquee, which is a tool that lets you drag a selection area. So I'm going to choose a rectangular marquee and draw a rectangle above my patty. I'm in the cheese layer, which is important because I'm going to be making cheese. The fill bucket or paint bucket is underneath the gradient tool. So if you see this little gradient in your toolbar, click and hold, you'll find your paint bucket. I'm going to grab a cheesy color. I think I'm going to go with Swiss. So I'm using a light yellow and then I click fill. Now, if I click out here or if I grab a different tool and try to paint out here, it won't work because having a marquee active restricts you to only editing what's within the marquee. But I'm done. I filled my cheese. So in order to deselect that area, I'm going to use control D. Control D will become one of your best friends. Next, I'm going to get my eraser and I'm going to erase out some holes in my Swiss cheese. Give you a few different sizes. That looks pretty good. And let's see, the next thing that I'm going to do is show you the burn tool. But in order to get back to the patty layer, I don't want to rearrange everything. That's a lot of extra work. I'm just going to click the eyeball next to the cheese layer and the cheese is now hidden. So I'm in the patty layer. And over here, there's a set of tools, dodge, burn, and sponge. Uh, these come from people who used to actually develop real photos with chemicals in a dark room and you would burn or dodge to darken or lighten areas. So the burn tool, which looks like a little hand, will darken an area. Uh, let me show you on the bottom bun so it's more visible. Let's see. I have it. You can up here in the control panel, you can change if you want it to primarily affect the shadows, midtones, or highlights. You can change the exposure, uh, which would be like how in the intensity of the tool, and you can change what type of brush. So I'm going to go with a brush with a harder edge and make it maybe a little bit. I'll just leave it this size for now. So you can see it burning. It's making it darker. Do that. Go back to my hamburger patty, and I'm going to use this tool to darken the edge of my burger patty. I'm going to bring down the exposure a little bit. Oh, I'm still in the bun layer. Undo, Control Z, click in the patty layer. So I'm burning the edges of my patty to try to make them look like they have a dark edge, which gives the illusion of depth. I'm going to bring the exposure back up because this is a really dark colored section. You don't really see the burn happening too much. The other thing you can do is change the brush type. Um, play around with these. There's some really crazy things like you can like stamp stars into your hamburger patty or whatever. Um, but you may want to texturize your meat with one of these spray, br spray brush type brushes and you can even just stamp it. Oh, let me change this to shadows so that Whoa, that's really intense. Let me change it to midtones. That's better. Let me make the brush bigger. It just clicks. My meat doesn't look streaky. It looks speckled. All right, so that's the burn tool. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is the dodge tool. And I'm going to do it on the bottom bun to try to create a top bun that matches. Um, and I'm going to right click on the layer and hit duplicate layer. I'm good with my duplicate layer being called bottom bun copy. Um, I like to do this anytime I'm editing a layer and I know I might really mess up and might want to be able to go back to my original version. So I'm going to edit the bottom bun copy. I'm going to go over here, grab my dodge tool. And I want this round brush with the soft edge. I want it pretty big. And I'm going to use it to try to kind of lighten the burger bun and create the illusion that it's got like a raised middle with more light hitting it. So I'm going to go a little bit smaller and hit it again. 
Although now I'm starting to get some concentric circles with hard edges. And I don't really like that. My history panel is hidden underneath my layers. I'm going back over here. I like this better. The other thing I can do is I can make an entirely new layer. And maybe I'll go back to my regular paintbrush. Pick a pale tan color. I can change the opacity of the brush. Kind of like the way that looks, but it's a little bit too tan. I want more of the yellow to show through. So I can change the layer opacity. You can see me sliding it around. And put it in like the middle. And let's say I'm looking at layer one and bottom bun copy. And they look really nice together. And I would just like them to be merged together forever. Well, I can go to layer in the control panel and merge down. And now that layer one and bottom bun copy are one in the same together forever. I'm going to double click and rename it top bun. I'm going to drag it up to the top of my stack. Turn on all my layers. And then let's go through. I have my top bun, my cheese, my patty, lettuce, bottom bun. I'm going to add another layer for ketchup to show you one more feature. Grab my paintbrush, make it red, make sure I'm in the ketchup layer. Um, you can play around with any of these brushes. They do all sorts of crazy things. And by crazy, I mean amazing. All right, so let's get a round brush and just make a, oh, let me turn the opacity back up. Control Z, 100% opacity. All right, here's a squiggle. That's a terrible ketchup color. Let me get my paint dropper and pick this one. Then my paint bucket, fill it, that's better. And on top of my red swirl, I'm going to make my brush a little smaller. Grab a nice light color. I would probably redo that with like changing the brush opacity if this weren't just a demo. And now I'm going to show you the smudge tool. Smudge works a similar way to like all of our different brushes. Um, you can also like smudge something darker or lighter or smudge certain like smudge to a different color. You can change the strength. I'm going to make my smudge brush a little smaller, I guess. I don't know. So this is totally not giving me the ketchup effect I was initially going for. But I wanted you guys to see the smudge tool. And feel free to play around with it in whatever layer you feel like. It's kind of what I used to do with my ketchup and mayo as a kid, actually. All right, so I've taught you marquee, fill bucket, deselect, played with the eraser, we hit a layer, We've done burn, dodge, duplicate. We've changed the opacity of the brush. We've merged layers. We've tried smudging. Beyond that, really just play around. Feel free to create additional layers. Experiment with all these different brushes. There's some, like I mentioned, you can like stamp stars into things. Makes no sense for a hamburger, but it's really awesome. Um, that's the prettiest burger I've ever seen. I think that's the end of this tutorial. Oh, one last thing. If you're not happy with the whole, like, control plus, now it's way too big, control minus, now it's way too small, you can just type a different number in up here. Voila. There's my burger, and it's a star. Have fun making your projects, guys.